There is uh, very little interest in passing strong environmental protection legislation. I don't know if it's specific to CAFOs, um, but they have had some great activity in legislation in favor of them, uh, legislation that prevents nuisance lawsuits by neighbors of hog farms, um, chipping away at some of the strong protections. We finally got one decent bill passed in 2007 that was a permanent moratorium on any new hog farms or expansion of existing hog farms. I would say there's probably a big piece of campaign money um, involved in, in this. I, I know there was a large amount of money that went to one of the House Republican leaders on agricultural issues and the same on the Senate side, that individual actually has a significant investment in farming operations. So it's actually kind of benefits him to um, weaken some of these rules. But it's, uh, it's, um, it's very frustrating that something that we know is right for the people um, can't get past this legislature because because there's a campaign money block here. I've been fighting all those efforts. Uh, the one specifically about the anaerobic digesters for the capturing the methane, they say, um, seems to perpetuate a really flawed system of you know, spray field, lagoon and spray field. And it doesn't do anything about the contamination that comes from those lagoons and the quality of life, the degradation of the quality of life of those neighbors. So it's been, it's been really frustrating to watch that happen. We, I think the DEQ, um, tries hard and what happens is they have a really horrible bill and then they get it negotiated down to less bad and then they feel sort of obligated to support it. Otherwise, they feel like they would have something much worse than what they got. Well, I, I, I'm afraid that environmental issues have become somewhat partisan, polarizing and partisan and it shouldn't be, but that's the practical reality. You can't do anything about climate change. You can't do anything about you know, the hog farms, Poultry, we couldn't even get a poultry, poultry is completely unregulated. We couldn't even get a study to see what we needed to be doing. So it's, um, it's, it's very frustrating. It really is. And this particular EPA administrator, Michael Regan, has a real strong interest in environmental justice. So I'm hopeful that we may get something at the federal level that will provide us the protection we need until we can enact our own. And I think if we could get every member of the legislature to go down to one of these counties, Duplin, Sampson County, and tour and see how these people's lives are impacted. I think they feel a little bit differently, but in the abstract, I don't think they have one ounce of empathy for these individuals whose lives are being destroyed by this industry.